Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister will launch Roska Mela, the recruitment drive for den like personnel today. This will be a significant step towards fulfilling the commitment of the Prime Minister to provide job opportunities for the youth and ensuring welfare of citizens. The drive will be launched through video conferencing. During the ceremony, appointment letters will be handed over to 75,000 newly inducted appointees in the first batch. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that two pillars for developed India of the 21st century are pride in our heritage and making all possible efforts for development for all. He was speaking after laying the foundation stone of road and ropeway projects worth more than 3,400 crore rupees in Mana, Uttarakhand, yesterday. The two ropeway projects are Gaurikund to Ketanad and Govinkat to Hemkund Sahib and road widening projects worth around 1,000 crore rupees. Modi said that development initiatives at the places of spiritual importance are helping devotees and promoting tourism at these places. He said that the development of spiritual places will not only provide convenience to all devotees but also attract the youth of this country. Modi said that the Parvat Mala scheme will be instrumental in providing connectivity through building of roads in difficult hilly areas. Union Home Minister Amit Shah has called for a cross-border cooperation to fight cross-border terrorism. Addressing the concluding session of the 90th Interpol General Assembly in New Delhi yesterday, Shah said, without cooperation, terrorism cannot be defeated. He said towards this, the role of Interpol is very important. Shah said he strongly believes that terrorism is the biggest violator of human rights and it is a global challenge. He stressed on reaching consensus on the definition of terrorism and terrorist, and if it is not done, then we cannot fight resolutely against terrorism. Shah said the narrative of good terrorism, bad terrorism, small and big terrorism cannot go together, and also called for a global consensus on the challenges of propagating ideology of cross-border terrorism through online radicalization. He stressed that we all should be com- committed to a continuous, comprehensive and effective fight against terrorism. The Home Minister recommended Interpol to set up a permanent real-time information exchange mechanism among the counter-terrorism agencies of all its member countries. Vice President Jagdeep Thankar has described quality, quantity and continuity as the core principles for the success of Jal Jivan mission and called for ensuring a strong and credible accountability mechanism in implementation of this people-centric program. Speaking after launching Jal Jivan Survekshan JJS Toolkit 2023 and JJS 2023 dashboard at his residence in New Delhi yesterday, Tangar hoped that these initiatives by the Ministry of Jal Shakti will prove to be an important medium to ensure transparency and accountability in the scheme. On the occasion, the Vice President appreciated the progress made by Jal Jivan Mission over the last three years and expressed confidence that every rural household will have tap water connections soon. Nagaland's Planning and Coordination, Land, Revenue and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Nipa Grono has called upon the community to put efforts in making Futsuro a learning centre of excellence. Addressing the Silver Jubilee celebration of Baptist School Futsuro under Peck District yesterday, Grono stressed on the need to strengthen the atmosphere of punctuality and civic sense to march with the civilised world. He also loaded the school on achieving 100% pass percentage for three consecutive years in the HSLC examination from 2019 to 2022. Grono advised the students to minimise the use of mobile phone, saying that technology should not take control over them. He said gadgets are useful but has the potential to spoil the person if it is not utilised in a proper and wise manner. The minister encouraged the students to have a vision and apply their minds and stay focused to what they want to do. Grono also motivated the students not to worry about jobs, stating that there are ample of jobs available around the world for those who are sincere and possess the quality of hard work. 
That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.